Rafa back. Uh, Billie Jean King Cup props to uh, my friend Lindsey Davenport uh, getting Team USA through. Uh, it was expected. Um, Jess Pagula looked maybe nervy. First match got through. Uh, Emma Navarro uh, apparently had like an arm injury and didn't even mention it to Lindsay until she was like a set in. Like she's tough, man. Like she is, she is gritty. She is tough. She is the kind of person that you want to be on a team with. Um, I got in trouble for saying Lindsay was mad at me. I got in trouble for saying <laughs> she was mad at me. I got in trouble for saying I said this crazy thing. I said two crazy things this week, Mike, that I got in trouble for. You ready for them? Ready. That Emma Navarro is a better tennis player than she is a rapper. How dare you? I know. And I, I'm sorry. I apologize live on air in the opening segment of TC Live because the last thing I want to do is piss off Mama Bear Lindsay, who I love and who is mad at me, but we're not. she's not mad at me anymore. I think it had, maybe had something to do with them winning. Um, cures all. Sorry? Cures all. Yeah, uh, but I thought Lindsay did a phenomenal job because she had two players on day one who may have been a little nervous. Maybe the matches were a little bit tighter uh, than they would have expected. It's a math contest. It's not an art show. Put two wins on the board. Say la vie, USA, go into the finals. Congrats on Lindsay. Uh, texted with her yesterday. She said she has five weeks off now. So hopefully, I want to get her on the pod because I'm so curious. Um, normally, we hear from captains after they're done with their captaincy. I kind of want to, I would love to hear the adjustments before and how different it is, you know coaching players to do something that you've done before, but if she has to deliver information differently to the different players, it's not like she's a coach that's with them all the time uh, in these situations. So hopefully she'll come on and she can also explain why she was mad at me. Um, but I thought, great job, uh, Team USA. You know who else did a great job at BJK Cup, who I think it could have relevancy for the rest of her season, um, is Emma Raducanu. Came back, skipped Miami, uh, first time on clay in a while. Uh, beat Pari and Garcia from France in like big matches that are, are pressure packed. Like playing for your country is 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 a nervy, gross. You feel like you want to vomit before you go on the court type experience. I thought she did uh, great. Won a tight match, seven six in the third against Pari. That that's a that's a big win for her. She's lost a lot of tight three setters uh, to get two matches. You know, it's a handful of times she's won two matches in a row um, on a surface that she hasn't played much on at all. Like we forget that she was kind of like a part-time tennis player when she won the U S open. Um, I think that is a, a big, big deal for her. Uh, props to Ben Shelton, uh, number one American. Uh, we have 14, 15, 16 in the rankings. Now, now what we need is, 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 and I, I never want to be the guy that walks uphill, the guy that walked uphill to both ways to school. We have the potential for these guys to be top 10. So we're, I, you know, we're talking about four five, six in the world. I think that's a more, interesting conversation, but on the heels of uh, Ben winning in Houston, Taylor Fritz having semifinals uh, from last year in Monte Carlo fall off. Uh, ben is the new U.S. number one, well-deserved. Uh, Youngest since uh, one Andy Roddick. Oh, yeah. Those those stats are, <laughs> are so antiquated and boring, if I'm being honest. Um, weird thing is, it's like, I put it in a different way. Um, January of last year, so not, not too long ago, 15, 16 months ago, had never left the country. Ben? Yeah. Wow. When he went to Australia last year, he had never left the country before. That's awesome. This is someone who developed late, went to college, is still very young, but it's not as if he was playing challengers when he was 17. Had never left the country 15 months ago. Your new American male, uh, number one. Um, we Coming up on the show, we are, next we are going to get to John Wertheim with his headlines, news, and notes. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to get informed on what's actually going on, and then you have to stick with us. It's a crime if you don't listen to uh, Bob and Mike uh, telling each other about the crimes that they committed against each other. Yeah, your face will hurt. All of our faces it's, hurt afterwards. It's, it's brilliant. We'll be right back. <laughs> 